How would you like to be an AOE master with your rogue? I've heard a lot of complaints of people saying that the rogue doesn't have enough AOE powers and is not good enough in AOE with big packs, etc. Well, this build I'm going to show you might be the solution because it turns your rogue into an AOE bomb. I mean, my rogue is right now my favorite in terms of causing AOE damage to big mobs. And I'm going to show you how to do it yourself. And I definitely recommend you give it a shot because it's super fun. So this build starts with the Penitent Greaves. You're going to need these boots before we can talk about anything else. Why? Because what we're going to do is we're going to use the shield status effect to our advantage. How? Well, within your build, you're going to need to have shadow, shadow imbuement. And Shadow Imbuement mixed with Chills creates a lot of bombastic things. Here, this is the aspect, the number two most important thing, or number one most important thing, along with the boots, is this aspect. So damaging a chilled enemy and frozen as well, because they eventually get frozen if they're, too, if they're closed for a long enough time. Damaging a chilled or frozen enemy with a Shadow Imbuement skill has up to 75% chance to release an explosion that deals... 1,178 cold damage to the target and surrounding enemies, chilling them for another 25%. So obviously this can go much higher. I, I have just found one that's 1,700. I haven't imprinted it yet. I'm keeping it for a better weapon. But here's the thing. Because the other ones get chilled, they also get the effect of your, of your imbuement. So it's a cascading effect. So it's one that gets heavily damaged by your shadow imbuement when he's chilled. And what, what happens next is that the other ones get chilled that are next to it and they get the shadow imbuement effect and so on. It's a cascading effect. But here's the thing. Here's how we're going to make that even better. We're going to use this aspect. When you hit the crowd controlled enemy, chilled counts as crowd controlled. There is a 48% chance for that crowd control effect to spread. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to have all the enemies around you crowd controlled by your chilled boots. And when they're crowd controlled and you're going to hit them with a flurry or, or with the basic, all the other ones around at 50% chance. And that's a lot of chance since your flurry throws a lot of knives, etc. So pretty much always all the other ones around it now get the crowd control effect which is they get chilled so the whole pack gets chilled around you and then we're going to use this explosion so we're going to activate shadow imbuement we use this it gives 1000 explosion and then it spreads to to the other chilled enemies which are crowd controlled which have that chance to get crowd control. So you kind of see where I'm going with this. Like everybody gets crowd controlled and everybody explodes with this, with this huge cascading effect. And I found this to be amazing when playing melee. Now I, I am not a full melee. I'm half melee seeing as I have two cores. I'm using the flurry and rapid fire. It works either way. Once we get close to these enemies, they're going to cas cascade into an explosion. So you can have a huge pack with a ton of enemies. Obviously, it's going to work much better with lower level enemies because higher level enemies require a lot more damage to explode and spread the CC, which then explode, etc. But if they're much higher, you still have, you'll still damage a lot of them a lot, but you won't see this incredible explosion as, as well as you would within like five, six, seven levels of of your own now what i like to use and this is definitely not a must but i like to use my razor plate because the thorns are damaging everybody around me as well like all these mobs that are hitting me are getting damaged by thorns and since they're all chilled what's going on 
Well, since they're all, all chilled, and I'm damaging them with my thorns, which is basically, I'm not doing anything, then the other ones get crowd control without me even doing anything, because here it says, when you hit the crowd control enemy, there's a 40% chance, 50% uh, chance for that crowd control to spread. And thorns counts as hitting them, even when they hit me, it counts as hitting them, and they're already chilled, so all the guys around him get chilled, etc. So it even, it gives this even more cascading effect. On top of this, I have found this, again, this is not necessary, in fact, it might be, it might not be the best choice for me at this moment, but I kept it because I haven't really found the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for, you know, 3x imbuement, etc. I'm gonna have to play with the affixes and go enchant, etc. But for right now, I'm still using this one because of the 25% increased lucky chance. And that 25% basically helps in all my lucky hits, which is this important one, which is that important one. They're all lucky hit. So they get an even better chance of of act of proccing. Here's the last thing I would use with this build, and this is the restore four of your primary resource when crowd controlling an enemy. Seeing as we're gonna be crowd controlling everybody all the time, we're constantly getting this plus four from each enemy. And when you get a pack of like 20, 30, 40 mobs, whatever it is, you're crowd controlling everybody around you, like we explained with the cascading effect and each one is giving you plus four of your primary resource, which is basically refilling your primary. So you're very often full, especially when you have all these enemies around you. So as you can see, when you combine this, I'm sorry, but I don't know the names of every aspect, but I'm showing them to you. So if you combine this aspect along with this one and this one, and of course with the pennant and boots, which without it, this whole build is useless. So it really depends on this unique, on finding this unique. But once you have that, you're going to be like a god CCing mobs and exploding them all at once. The advantage of that being that you're not gonna get CC'd because you're gonna get rid of the packs very, very fast. And then you can use flurry or whichever build you're using to single target the big boys. And if you're playing a seasonal character, you can do something even more, and that is to add a Wrathful Heart called the Barber, because now the Barber, when, when you hit an enemy, he will explode and damage all the enemies near it. And like we said earlier, when you damage one enemy and it damages the other enemies, they all get CC'd and then they all, and then the damage goes and cascades into a humongous explosion. So I would definitely recommend you guys try this I've not seen anybody use this build so far, and I tried it on my own, and I absolutely love it. I feel extremely powerful, especially when it comes to packs. But this obviously works even on elites. Now, as far as your skill tree goes, there, aren't, there isn't too much to do except for one very important thing. And that is, my friends, right here. You want full frigid finesse because you deal 15% increased damage to chilled enemies and remember all the enemies around you are going to be chilled all of them so you're doing 15% base damage already this bonus increases to double when they're frozen so that's 30% and a lot of them will be frozen I mean all this is going to happen so quickly but the amount of extra damage you're going to create with that cascading effect we talked about a few times that's going to be insane okay because it's multiplier on multiplier on multiplier and the the other thing you can do is there's a lot of amulets that give plus two or plus three um frigid finesse and if you get if you get those on top of this then you're you're dealing 30 percent damage on chilled and 60 percent on frozen and that is a huge amount because you're already de dealing so much extra on extra on extra and then finally, of course, you can also look out for affixes that give you damage on crowd controlled enemies or damage on chilled. So all of these will be helpful if they find themselves in one of your... I mean, I, I don't think it's worth 
like changing all your fixes to that obviously but if you have these on some of your uh, gear it would definitely be very helpful as far as the paragon tree nothing much there with the exception of perhaps uh, more damage to crowd controlled enemies and more damage to nearby enemies you have quite a few of those um around uh like this like 12 percent uh extra damage to closer enemies etc well that would be it folks i will leave you with a couple more clips and i will catch you soon with a lot more bombastic coming <laughs>